Hey everyone, Robin here. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can create a Google Ads campaign for your service or if you sell products online for your e-commerce business. I have five years of e-commerce knowledge, which I'm going to share with you for totally free, free in videos like this. So without further ado, let's jump in my screen. So when you exit the tutorial and you enter your business information and your credit card details, you end up in a dashboard like this. Uh, don't be overwhelmed. I'm going to take you step by step with me how you can set up the campaign for your own product or service. So you press first on the plus icon on the left side. You create a campaign. You select here sales and we are going to create a sales campaign. You select your website here. I implemented a small cheat sheet so I can copy and paste fast to show you exactly how it works. So I enter my own website here, Robtronic Media. Then you will enter the campaign name. So I will copy my campaign name, what I already here and explain you exactly how we make it. So the first of all, the first letters are RTM, which stands for Robtronic Media, a small signature that we know that this campaign is made by us. Second of all, we select the campaign type, which is a search campaign. Third of all, we select the brand name. So we know that this is a brand name campaign and we keep things organized if you make multiple campaigns. Uh, second of all, uh, we uh, use target image share. So this is the objective of the campaign, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So um, a 95% is the top impression share, what I'm going to share with you in a minute also. And the date of today as 6 September uh, 2023. So that's it for this step. Click on next. Here you select the campaign objective or as well the bidding strategy. So you do impression share, which means you um, simply appear as much as possible on the name of your brand product or service. You select here absolute top of the page result. And here you select 95% and you do a maximum CPC of one euro. So this is a top impression share, which means the amount of time you get shown if someone search for your brand name online. And this is the maximum CPC. Most of the time, if no one is bidding on your name, your cost per click are significantly low, but with this you protect that you don't bid uh, higher than one euro for your clicks. Here you unselect this two. We only want to be seen by uh, the people that search on Google and not any unrelevant uh, platforms that Google also can advertise. Uh, here you select the country, what you want to be visible or any region. And we always select presence right here. Um, so we want to only show by people that live in this area or are there for a long time because we don't want to be seen by any other people that might be interested in traveling in this area, for example. And here you can select another area or region if you would like to do so. So that's what you can do here. Uh, for our brand name or product types, you don't need any language, so we can uh, skip that one. For more settings, you can here select an edge schedule. Let's say you're a barbershop and you are only open from nine to six. You can only show your uh, your ads from this time. So you do that by the ad schedule right here, but we don't want to do it for now. We just want to uh, have our ads appear in the algorithm for 24 seven. So we click next. Uh, here it gets interesting. Here you need to uh, select the keywords that you need to implement for your account. So I already have some in my cheat sheet and I will talk you through. So I will do this for Robtronic Media. That's my media agency. And we use phrase match and exact match. So we copy and paste that right here. So what phrase match means is that if the word Robtronic appears in the sentence, uh, our ads will appear. And the same for uh, exact match. That is if people uh, type this word exactly in Google, you want to appear as well. And you don't want to do broad match, what you can see here without any quotation marks or bracket, because then you can appear in also synonyms. So other words that are maybe not related to you. And there you can spend much money without results. So let's limit the algorithm by doing the exact match and the phrase match like this. And here you need to fill in your own uh, company or service details uh, for yourself, which you want to be seen for the keywords on Google. Uh, here you type in um, your URL, the final URL where the customers go if they visit your website or the visitors. Uh, here you want to add any relevant things. So let's say we offer Google ad service for my um, me media agency. We type in Google ads. So you want to make this display path as uh, interesting as possible for the potential visitors. Uh, then you add a few headlines. I already prepared a few ones here. 
So first of all, you always want to start with uh, the product or service that you're advertising, so the name, and you will pin it in position one like this. So here we trick the algorithm a little bit to follow our guidelines uh, to make it as optimized as possible. So the second of all, you add a few benefits from working with you or your product or service. So you pin that in position two. So you start with the name, then a few benefits. I will implement one more. For example, no cure, no pay. Uh, what we do for our agency, you pin it in position two. And position three is the call to action. So what do you want visitors to do with your product or service? Uh, now visit our office, for example. So implement it there or check out our website or whatever. So you add a few call to actions and Google decide for them self which works the best for you so you pin it one two and three as i just showed you then you want to implement some descriptions which i also have already here with a maximum of 90 characters and here you say something that's beneficial to read for the customer about your product or service so for example for agency we provide a full range of marketing service for your e-commerce business and then the other one, no cure, no pay base, which means you get a full refund if we don't get any results. Another huge benefit or objection handling for our customers. So we implement that simply right here. Uh, here, if you have the advertisement verification done, uh, you get this option unlocked, which means you can uh, fill in your business name and your logo right here. So it's just, uh, you type just your business name and you upload your logo, that's it. And here you add the site links. I already have a few, but I add a few ones so you can see what we are talking about. So here we have four side links prepared. We always do our best selling product, our best selling collection, uh, our contact page to have some proof and about us and customer testimonials for some proof and trust as well. So what you want to do is uh, add the first side link here. You just cop the, copy the text, for example, this one, best selling products. Uh, you have two descriptions, so the most popular products as example. We implement that here. Then we have the other uh, description for the side link. It's recently sold the most, uh, just a small description. And then the title, we just copy it right here. And this is just an example, but make sure you uh, use all four side links. I'm not sure if I had this one already, but let's press save. Okay, save and then apply to our campaign. So this is just one, make sure you use four. So now you can press done here. And what that does is you create one campaign for the keywords of your product, service or e-commerce website. So with that being said, you can go to the next step. Here you can put your um, limit of budget. And here you need to um, think about that it's the budget at the end of the month. So if you put 10 euros a day, it means it doesn't spend more than 300 euros at the end of the month. But during the days, it can spend eight euros or 12 euros. So there's some fluctuation. So Google only thinks uh, the long term and uh, doesn't spend more than 300 euros at the end of the month. So here you can click next. All right. OK, I see there is one small error. Let me go back. Ah, we didn't select any countries. OK, let's fix that issue and I will show you how to launch a campaign. So, for example, we want to have this campaign in Holland. We go next we go next now we are ready let's see what is here ah no space okay error solved now we can go to the review section checking for every error errors uh, i didn't add my uh, payment details there yet because this is a dummy account i will uh, remove this account later on after this is finished but this tutorial is just to show you how you can set up your brand name campaign for your service name or business name or your e-commerce website. All right, that took a minute or so. So I just uh, took a small break with the video. Uh, now you can just simply check all details. So we here we have the name, top impression, share as I just explained. This is a search campaign. Uh, objective is to make sales for your e-commerce website. Uh, the bidding strategy is target impression share we bid equal for new and existing customers we always want to do this setting uh, we select the uh, location as we just saw we didn't select any languages so you don't need that um, we we use the uh, different keywords what i just explained and we are on 10 euros a day budget budget so that's all now you can just simply press publish campaign and you just publish the campaign 
and that's it now it will take one to three days to start spending if you have enough uh, traffic on your name uh, so you just need to be a bit patient and just keep an eye on uh, on your ads after that all right my name is robin i hope this video was valuable for you if you if it was valuable for you make sure you put a thumbs up and i see you in the next video and if you want to learn more about e-commerce make sure to check out my channel where i made more videos like this all right see you in the next one ciao